Hi, I'm going to tie a very easy gold bead, which actually is not gold, but black bead. And this is a nymph using two different colors for the body and a little bit of a, uh, what we call eye stop for the thorax. So this uh, fly is named 2400. And this is one of the last patterns that I've been tying using the new technology. I mean, using the uh, magic tool and also the tacker. Okay, so uh, on that book you have all the components requested for that fly and all the tools as well requested for that fly. I want to take the opportunity to tell you that in that book that I made, you have nearly all the patterns that I've been creating during the last 25 years. So you start by tying thread first and I'm going to use a very soft material for the tail, not the coq de leon which is relatively stiff compared to the end uh, feather. So to split uh, the tail easily I use a little bit of floss so I bring the thread um, in the beginning of the curve and then use the floss to split the tail. One more time, just want to use a little amount of soft material that which goes very well with nymph because it, it has to move in the water. And then use your finger to split the tail and to keep the fibers open. I go on the front with on the same level in order to have quite enough basement I would say and then I will use two different colors the beast and the cream color so quite long feather because I'm doing the body and the the other cream is that one which is going to be the body uh, so you can put all those feathers together like this and I will start at the very beginning of the body like this okay now I take the special plier which allows me to grab the two feathers at the same time and I start to go like this twist and wrap around the hook shank and as you see you can have two different colors which is quite interesting leave a small space that you, you are going to use for the thorax and the legs which is always nice to have. Very often we go too, with too many material close to the hook eye. So I clean the body and now I will prepare the material on the table clip. So for that I will use the second table clip. And what is quite interesting is that you can mix Beside the fact that you can mix different colors, you can also put some dubbing directly on the table clip before you use the feather. So use the feather the same way, I mean 90 degrees from the stem, and you push it directly onto the table clip. That way it is mixed together. So the procedure is very much the same. You trim the extremity, you transfer to the regular clip, you trim off the stem and this is the result what you have. So I'm going to use that to illustrate thorax and the legs. So flat the thread, split the thread and then incorporate the echo substitute with the dubbing. What you can do now is to twist a little bit in your finger and as you see the dubbing get close to the thread 
when the CDC fibers stays away and open and uh, it's kind of nice to be able to make this kind of brush and that's it so a few wraps just behind the bead and use your finisher like this if you feel like uh, cutting some on top please do it and if you feel like cutting some on the bottom and so the remaining will refer to the legs and have a lot of movement in it and it's quickly done of course you can vary the colors and the beads as you want so thank you for your attention